Hello Mundra. How you going? Coming over to have a drink with old Bo. How hey, you uh, Bo? Did you need uh, that uh, one guy in the balls? Uh, 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 balls that he was uh, telling me you did. He rang me about it yesterday. wasn't even there. Don't you dare speak ill about you Kute Mundra. Me? At Balls? Balls? Dale's full of shit. You asked Maura. She was there. You talk to Maura. Talk to Maura tomorrow. Or talk to her Monday, Monday, when you see her at work. Had a long talk to her about the blue. She'll tell you why along with the rest of the story. It was that Gundagoy and that Medman that took to the poor wog. She was there with Neville. They were near to the blue as it was mountain. Moore is an expert on them blue mountains. She can sense them in the crowd behaviour. Says the full moon's got a lot to do with it. You know that bat low? Her name's low and she is low. Well... She was with them, Gundagai and Madman, Medman. She was egging them on. The police should, they should terminate their balls. They caused trouble at the Birch of BNS too. Uh, bar there might be a more appropriate word. Although I think Batlow's got balls. But bar that Batlow, bar that Gundagai and Barn Edmund too. I've been told he's a crook. Well, that's another story. You know that a grander fella that lives in a condo, Bowling told me Midman ripped him off, off a for ten of green. They were together in the bank of robbery. They need the vehicle and explosives, so they picture this car jelly going and do the job, blow the stake, get the 30 grand and Medman splits but not down the middle. With Medman with a slide of the hand, counts it as 20 and the give us a green 10. Green fell to it. Green's the two dumb to realise. I just come by chance on the data story. I heard them and Gundagore laughing about it in a, in, a, in a pub, planning the whole thing. They come up from a hardened bunch of criminals. Uh, uh. By the way, I need that barramundi that you borrowed. I didn't borrow any fish off of your boat. No, me where about you, Drongo. I need it urgent, Monday, Monday. No, that was a worry you lent to the barra. The one did it off of him, in Ari. Now, Monday. You got it. You bring it back Monday, Monday. Warra's a good bloke. Don't want you speaking ill of Warra. Uh, changing the story. The milking goat disappeared the other day. Found her down at Yoronga. She's made it up with that Yoronga billy. And our bitch is on heat and went looking for a dog. I found her down at old Charlie Chew's place. She was locked onto that chew mutt. Thought it might have been that mud of Mars, but it was that chew mutt. Getting back to the blue in the in the pub, I reckon the police should have no, at the ball. I mean, I reckon the police should have been there to book them. They haven't been along that way for a while. Right, and they might get beaten up. I reckon. Better go and tie that mother Mars up. She's been blueing with that chew mutt. Don't want to blue with Charlie Chew, as the Zoom and crap would say. Charlie will whop them. Seen Tumbra old girl the other day. Money you should see Tumbarumba. She got a bit of skin off. They tell me she got tangled up with the Black Widow's motorcycle again in a pub near Tuliba. No, good night it must have been. Anyway, she was in the horrors when she got on the bike behind the Black Widow and rocked back as he accelerated off from the graphic print of the Black Widow on the bike's leather jacket and her inherent arachnophobia was too much. She leapt off. She was knocked about a bit. Tar cutter. 
took some of the rumber out of her. She's been seeing Dale a bit lately. His missus will spring Dale if he's not careful. Young Bendick Murrell over there, he's uh, took his old man's car uh, uh, and cleaned up a cow rather nasty bingle. He wasn't licensed. The owner of the stock was gunning for him. He wasn't real happy when he had to come and collect her off the road. Young Murrell now has to pay for the stock and bingle. Better go. This pool's getting a bit expensive. <laughs>